Okay, we're ready? Yeah, okay. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to World Habitat Day. We are so excited to be here. My name's Diane Mitchell, and I'm the CEO of Habitat for Humanity, Thunder Bay. And uh, we are here with such exciting news. This is the first time Habitat for Humanity Thunder Bay has gone outside the district. And we have had a great warm welcome from your community here in Marathon. And we're so excited to be here. Today we're going to uh, not only dedicate two homes, so the home here at 39, but also the home just down the street to 35 to two wonderful families that we got to meet last night and get to know a little bit better. But we're also here to thank the sponsors and we could not do this without them and we're going to continue on our day and so i'm going to keep moving things at a pretty fast pace because by two o'clock this afternoon we need to be in thunder bay to dedicate two more houses there to two uh, families as well so it's going to be a very busy day so um the backbone of this whole project and the people that we could not do without is barrett gold and I really want to say thank you to them for being such great corporate sponsors with us and for helping us not only for them to come on board, but using all of their connections and their partnerships to be able to bring other organizations and companies on board with us. And so I'd like to uh, say welcome to everybody here and welcome Peter Callen, who is the Health and Safety Superintendent at Barrett Gold, to say a few words. So Peter, come on up. Yes, good morning. Thank you, Diane. Um, really happy to be here on behalf of Barrett Gold and uh, to welcome these two wonderful families to their new homes. You know, the builds will mean a lot to all of us at, at Hemlo, and it'll mean a lot to the community marathon as well, and we're, we're really excited about that. Uh, a lot of hard work and efforts going to go into those builds, there's no question about it. And, uh, you know, we're really happy to be here today to see what it was all for and what it's all about. I'm thrilled to meet the families last night. and It's really exciting. Uh, I'm confident we'll have a lot of fun working with Habitat for Humanity, Thunder Bay, and also uh, looking forward. I'm sure that won't be the, uh, the end of the relationship. There's no question we'll have more to, I'm sure we'll have the opportunity to do uh, things again going forward. Once again, I'd like to thank you on behalf of Andrew Bowman, our general manager, and all the staff and employees of Barrick Hemlo. We're uh, really happy, we're honored to be part of this. Um, I also, I, I encourage everyone here today uh, to inspire some action in your community, you know, get involved where you can, uh, address the need for safe and adequate uh, shelter for everybody, right? This is something we can easily take for granted and just like to get it out there that, uh, you know, get involved in this pro program, get a hold of Mitch, he's, uh, he's the guy to get a hold of and uh, this is going to be pretty exciting and uh, looking forward to the next few months. Thank you very much. So moving forward, we not only have um, people from the local area here, we also have Mark Rogers, who is the Chief Operating Officer of Habitat for Humanity Canada. And so I'm going to ask him to come on up, talk about World Habitat Day and everything that we're doing for World Habitat Day, and introduce Mark Rogers. Come on up. Tremendous. Thank you, Diane. Great to be here. What a great community and what a great area. I had such an enjoyable ride on the way up yesterday, seeing the beautiful landscape and countryside. And uh, last night we had a tremendous event here in the community. And I just want to congratulate everybody that was involved in that. I can just see the heart of the community in this project, and it's really, really exciting. I'm here today from our national office of Habitat for Humanity Canada. And I would like to bring greetings on behalf of the National Board of Directors and the uh, national staff of the, uh, the office. Um, it is a milestone day in two ways. Today is World Habitat Day, as Diane mentioned, a day dedicated by the United Nations to symbolize the need for uh, decent, affordable housing around the world. And if you do not know, Habitat for Humanity is a global housing organization. We are in almost 100 countries of the world and basically building at a rate, get this, yeah, of almost one new house every 11 minutes now in the world. So it is uh, one of the fastest growing organizations globally. We're considered about the sixth largest nonprofit charity in the entire world. 
very exciting. But here's the more important milestone today, and that is that Habitat for Humanity Thunder Bay is making Marathon its very first outreach in the Northwestern District. And so I'm pleased to be here because this symbolizes uh, really a program that is also growing, uh, starting from Thunder Bay and reaching out into several communities. Uh, like the name says, Marathon, I really do hope that this program becomes a marathon uh, among many, many communities in the Northwestern District. But congratulations, it's a tremendous uh, opportunity to be here and to share in this celebration. I uh, want to thank Barrett Gold in particular for their, their wonderful generosity. Met many of them last night. And I know that this is not just about a sponsorship, this is about a partnership. And they're very much dedicated to this, this community, this work, and these families. And you could tell by the interaction tonight that they are a wonderful and generous sponsor. So thank you very much. Um, today also is a great day to celebrate with our families. And I am so pleased, so very pleased, to have spent the last evening with, uh, with these two families. They are wonderful people. The kids are so exciting. They had so much energy and enthusiasm last night. And in particular, they shared some of their dreams, not the least of which was the dream for a cell phone and a house. How's that? Isn't that fantastic? That You couldn't have a better life than that. And so, without further ado, I want to introduce these two families. And we have a couple of gifts I'll mention in a moment that are symbolic of what uh, they're going to be doing in the next little while. So... Um, the Bolu family, uh, Bolu's single mom with uh, three children, and the Mallies, there they are, uh, mom, dad, and four children. So lots of new children in the, in the community here. It's going to be exciting times. I'm sure they're going to enjoy their yards and their backyards and, and have lots of fun. And I know uh, Brooklyn Mally was telling me last night she's really excited because of the school she's going to get to go to now. So how exciting is this for everyone? Uh, it's a dream come true for, for these children. So I'm going to ask all you folks to come forward, if you don't mind. And what we're going to be presenting this morning are two hammers with uh, an inscription engraved on them with uh, Habitat for Humanity Thunder Bay. These, come on up, yeah, come right on up. It's so exciting, isn't it? And these hammers are symbolic not only of the hard work that they're going to put into this, uh, this project, but it's also symbolic of the love and the uh, partnership that Habitat for Humanity shares with them. And my understanding is that at the end of these bills, they get to trade these in for a set of keys to the house. So that is fantastic. Pretty cool, eh? You know what? My guess is we'll let them keep the hammer anyway, but, but they do get to trade them in. So to the, um, to the Bolu family, congratulations. Okay. I'll present you with this hammer. Diane, Diane, did you? Oh, that's okay. it. Yeah. There, there we go. Everybody. Can you get a picture here? Everybody look up this way. Uh, come on, kids, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind anybody else. I'm the most important. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I'm going to take one more here, gang. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Perfect. And then, and then to the Mali. So I don't know who's going to receive it. Okay, there we are. <laughs> All right, perfect. And Diane, do you want to come over okay. here too? I will. Can we get... Um, Kind of got. I'm just a little can afraid we, we get, get the. Can we get the microphone? Uh, can we adjust it just a little bit here? Let's move it just a wiggle. Pop, 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 pop. Turn it off. Cheese. There we go. Perfect. Cheese. No, no, turn. Turn. Turn around. Turn around. Are we good? Okay. Are we good? <laughs> All right, that's great. Thanks, folks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Here we go. So just before I, I, I let Diane come back, I just want to say once again, thank you to all the volunteers in this wonderful community. Um, you very much symbolize what Habitat is across the country. One of the privileges I have in my job is to travel from coast to coast to coast, 
to, to work in large urban centers and small communities. But with the spirit that I see, even from last night and this morning here in Marathon, really truly symbolizes the core of what Habitat for Humanity is all about. So thank you so much and congratulations and all the best. I hope to get back and maybe even help swing a hammer. Thank you. So I just want to talk uh, just for a few seconds about um, the Habitat program and what does it mean and how does it work. Because there's always some um, ideas out there that aren't quite correct about what Habitat does. These families will not receive these houses for free. First of all, these families are hardworking families in your community and they're just not quite at the point that they can get a conventional mortgage. So that's how we help them out. Habitat for Humanity with the corporate sponsors raises the money to be able to complete these houses and we hold the mortgage for these families. So I actually, you know, just like the bank, hold the mortgage, but it's interest free and it's geared to their income. The families will never pay more than 30% of their gross family income for their property taxes and their mortgage. And every year we review that so that the families know how much, if, if all of a sudden they won the lottery, we'd increase how much they're gonna pay for their mortgage up to a point <laughs> that a bank would uh, charge them. If something happened in for a short period of time, they lost their job, we would work with that family lower their income or their mortgage payments a little bit until they got back on track so we work really hard with our families we have less than a 1% default rate with our families so that's really good the families also have to complete so the families will own these homes um, they actually buy the homes from Habitat for Humanity after a bit and they actually own the homes and they're free to sell those homes at any time but Habitat for Humanity Thunder Bay has the first right of refusal. So we will usually try and buy those houses back from the families and then get more families to put into them so that we always are keeping houses in stock and being able to fill them with new families. Also, the families have to complete 500 hours of sweat equity or volunteer time. And so we're not going to probably have 500 hours for them to do on our houses because we're going to be working during the day and they're going to have to be at work some of those times but they're going to also they'll help on the houses as much as they can but we're also going to connect them with all of the other organizations in your community that need volunteers so that they will have a chance to work with all the different community organizations to complete those 500 hours so most of us don't have to do 500 hours of volunteer time trying to fix up our houses so these families don't get anything for free they're going to work really hard to actually acquire and own these homes so those are the big uh, myths that are out there and if there's any other that uh, you wish me to speak to you can ask me afterwards so I just wanted to say thank you to the families uh, and say it was such a pleasure to get to meet you last night and to be able to meet the children and know the difference that we're going to make not only in their lives but in the community's life. We're now giving this community two new tax paying families. So that always helps. I know how it is with communities. We're always looking for a tax base to grow. So we get two families in here paying property taxes that weren't being paid before. So it's a good day for everybody. I want to uh, thank Mark for coming here. I want to thank Barrett Gold and all the other sponsors who are here. Please let them know that you saw them on the Habitat sign and you know that they're helping us. Uh, they're great sponsors and we want to make sure that they're all acknowledged all the time. This is a great day for Habitat for Humanity. We're excited to be here. It's only the beginning. It's not the end. I have one more thing I want to do. I was on the radio this morning. I don't know if you heard. And Al's a wonderful person to do the interviews on the radio station. But he made a comment to me and he said, you know, Dan, I need you to get Mitch Donaldson up at that microphone <laughs> because he won't do it. And I said, no, 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 I think he will. So Al said to me, I'll make a $50 donation to Habitat for Humanity if you can get Mitch to say a few words. So I'd like to invite Mitch Donaldson up to the microphone to say a few words. Good morning, everyone. First, I'd like to say to the families, uh, this, is, this is all new for me, too, and, and it's going to be a wonderful experience. Uh, I've worked uh, in many different organizations in the community. I, I know we'll have no problem getting volunteers. Uh, yesterday alone, uh, approximately 20 people signed up. Um, my phone's starting to ring off the hook, and now I have to hire another secretary. Anne won't do it anymore. <laughs> but uh, no, it's really exciting. And, and for Al, thank you for donating the first $50 to Habitat Humanity Marathon. Really appreciate it. 
And to all the people that came out today, uh, appreciate it. The, the, the show of sponsorship already is, is overwhelming. And if you look on here, there's, there's space at the bottom of the board. Uh, that's for the, the community sponsors uh, throughout our events when we get different uh, organizations to help out. We'll just keep adding their names to the list. When that board is full, we'll put another one up. These boards will stay here all winter until the projects are done, so you can drive by and see uh, how we're doing at any time. And if you got a lazy Saturday, give me a call. We'll put you to work. <laughs> Thank you very much, Diane. Thanks. And uh, look, looking forward to working with everyone. Habitat for Humanity, just to wrap this up, is working really hard to give back to the community. So the money that we have raised and, and Barrett Gold and everybody has been so great to give to us is staying in this community absolutely as much as we possibly can. So we're working really hard with Home Hardware to be able to buy all the items that we need for these houses right in your community. So the money doesn't just come in here and then go somewhere else. It stays here. It gets reinvested into your community. And that's really important to us as an organization. Just before we wrap up, I'd love to get a group picture with everybody here. If we can just move down to the next house over, and we're going to get a group picture with the families and everybody. Follow, sorry? Uh, yes. Uh, so we'll get everybody uh, to the other house and we'll get a group picture. And also make sure we're streaming this live. So this is going live onto the internet. And you can look at it all day long so the kids can look at themselves and see themselves on Net News Ledger. So make sure you go to their website or go to Habitat for Humanity. So it's habitattbay.com. And you can uh, click on a link right there and be able to watch what happened today. So thank you so much for coming out. We really appreciate it. We're looking forward to being in your community, not just now, but in the future. And we're looking forward to working with all of you. Thank you so much. Somebody's lawn though. I gotta keep nice neighbors. <laughs>